Well, hello there. You're watching The Candy Show on YouTube, and it's time for Empties Again, Part 3. Oh, and I just in Part 2, I forgot to put my jewelry on. I'm just realizing I forgot to put my jewelry on yet again. But there is this cute little Energizer bunny here called Mama Denise, and she's bouncing all around. And what, 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 what? One Rolex. Bun, da 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 one wedding ring doom, 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 doom. and one other hand ring and i don't need earrings because my hair's over my ears so look at that now i'm all blingy for you so i hope you're enjoying this format i only saw one person who said they didn't like it <laughs> it was like i said don't give me comments over the first video let it you know let it play out for a while someone's like no i don't like this but everybody else has been pretty positive about it so i'm calling this the bath and body one but this is kind of bath body hair and any miscellaneous that's left over is all going to be in this one. I'm going to jump right in with the hair first. I'm starting with two products that actually aren't finished. These are both products that I got for Denise. Actually, Jessica sent this one. This is the R&Co Dry Texture. It's called Sandcastle. It's a dry texture cream. We were trying to get work Denise's hair out, and I thought this was going to be the solution. It wasn't. She did not like this. And then I ordered her the Malin and Getz hair pomade, hoping that would be the solution. It was not. She did not like it. So um, both of those were we won't buy again. However, Denise just started going to my hairdresser, uh, my stylist, and her hair looks beautiful. You'll see it when? When we do Vlogtober! What? 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 That's right. We're going to do Vlogtober every day in October. We will be vlogging. Mama's finding this out at the same time you are. But you'll see Mama's beautiful hair. Oh, Mama's got this look on her face. Like she's just been caught in a car accident. Uh, you'll see how beautiful her hair is. It looks great. Uh, yeah, so anyway, what I got for her was a product that, uh, that, uh, Nath, uh, a product that Connor, my stylist, recommended. And it's, uh, I think it's a Swarf's Cough. Anyway, I'll, you'll see it when she empties it. Uh, also, I have this dry shampoo. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. They had come out with four different scents of dry shampoo to match with four of their Nirvana scents. So when I had used up my Nirvana Black a few months ago, I also used this up. Uh, Denise used up a shampoo and conditioner. This is by R & Co. Jessica sent these as well. This is Oblivion Clarifying Shampoo and Restorative Gel Conditioner. And how do you think? What do you think of them? All right. She says, all right. So if she didn't love them, she didn't hate them. I used up these deluxe sample sizes of Living Proof Anti-Frizz Shampoo and Conditioner. I absolutely love it. And frizz is my major problem. So uh, I do find that when you use that and their Anti-Frizz Styling Cream, it really tames your frizz. Uh, I also got these great samples of Drunk Elephant's new shampoo and conditioner. It is called Cocomino. I think I'm not wearing <coughs> Ten minute. Un instant, s'il vous plaît. I put on my lunettes, which are filthy. Uh, Cocomino Marula Cream Conditioner and Glossing Shampoo. I like this so much, I bought this in full size, so really nice. I'm loving Drunk Elephant. I'm really kind of getting in a love affair with them. I also used up this sample of the Quay, uh, or sorry, the Way uh, Treatment Mask. It is a very nice mask. I would say that this, like, would compete with Repair Don't Despair by Briogeo. Big words. And Denise used up this little guy, and I use this too in the summer. This is the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. It's great for adding just some texture and some grit in your hair. And that's it for the hair products. Now I'm going to move into body. And I'm going to start with a couple of smaller, or I guess a small and a big. This is the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I used a little sample and the full size because, as I said, the month of August was just all Sol de Janeiro. You're going to see a hand cream and a foot cream and shower gel, the whole bit. Beautiful scent. It's expensive, but oh my God, it's worth it. I know it takes a little while for this to seep in. Like if you're someone who wants your moisturizer to drink in instantly, this isn't that this isn't for you but it will keep you moisturized for a long time and then I got these two samples by Trader Joe and it is the warm vanilla body butter and the coconut body butter these were also gifts and I really love them I use both of those 
This is a teeny tiny sample, but I would totally buy it in full size. I got this as a sample from my spa. It is the Clarins Moisture Rich Body Lotion with Shea Butter. Oh, Clarins products are so fantabulous. I just loved it. This also came from Jessica. Uh, it's like I should say empties brought to you by Jessica. Um, this is the Pistache Skincare Divine Beauty Oil and Denise used this on her body. It is the pistachio and lavender one uh, and I'm really liking all these uh, pistache products. It's never summer at my house until you see a bronze goddess product. Um, in late, I guess late August, I used the um, Estee Lauder bronze goddess. What's this called? Wit Body Cream. <coughs> Excuse me and I dug out the perfume that goes with it, although I didn't empty the perfume, I tucked it away now and I'll use it again next summer, but this is just, it is the ocean, the sand, some suntan lotion, you know, in the, in the hot summer when you feel the sun on your skin, it's just, it's all that. I love it. I used up this shower cream. Oh, this is beautiful. This is the Body Shop Spa of the World. Balkan Juniper Body Wash. All the spa of the world body washes are fantastic. I keep saying that I want to use up all my body washes and go to soap because it's less plastic, but I have to say this body wash I would have to visit from time to time because all the smells of this spa of the world line are incredible. Denise, speaking of soap, use this soap. It is the L'Occitane Extra Gentle Shea Milk Soap. Beautiful bar, really rich, rich soap. And I used up this on my elbow. This is the Cicaplast Balm B5 by La Roche-Posay. Is it Cicaplast or Cicaplast? Anyway, C-I-C-A Plast um, B5 Soothing Repairing Balm. <clears throat> so this is kind of a uh, multi-use balm you put anywhere where you have some super dry spots. And for me, that's always my left elbow because I lean on my left elbow a lot because of my hips. Um, and so yeah, after every shower I just rubbed some of this on my elbow, kept my elbow nice and healthy. Oh, you know I love these. This is the Body Shop uh, Body Yogurt and this one is in almond milk. And the almond smell at the Body Shop is so good. It reminds me of when I was like 22, 23 and I had a little bit of extra money. My favorite thing with my roommates is we go to Shoppers Drug Mart on Sunday and like buy like maybe a Vogue magazine or a Cosmo. Back then I was reading Cosmo a lot until I got tired of it telling me how to please a man. I want to know how a man can please me, not how I can please a man. Um, so I, that's why I stopped reading Cosmo. But back then we'd buy like a magazine and I would get a Life brand body or a bubble bath that was in almond scent and it smelled just like this and it was like I think it was like three dollars for a liter of it. It was cheap but it was fabulous and I used to feel really luxurious taking a bath in that um, and that's what it always reminds me of when I smell this. The thing with the body yogurts if you are someone who likes your moisturizer to drink in right away this does. It spreads easy, it drinks in right away, but it also keeps you moisturized. And speaking of which, there's another body yogurt. This one was from Christmas. I just got around to using it now. It's the Juicy Pear flavor that came out at Christmas. And I told you you were going to see it all throughout. There's the Sol de Janeiro again. This one is called Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. Ah, oh, smells wonderful, suds up really nice. I really enjoyed it. Crazy expensive though for a shower gel. And the final body product is this tiny little mini Johnson's baby powder shampoo. Baby powder shampoo. What am I saying? It's baby powder, period. Uh, Johnson's baby powder. I use this under my boobs and between my boobs in the summer because, you know, it gets sweaty and it just keeps things fresh and not sweaty. And if I'm using, like when I'm using powder anywhere on my body besides downtown, I like just the regular baby powder. Uh, if I'm putting powder like, you know, between my thighs, like for chub rub and stuff, I will only use uh, cornstarch base, not talc, because there's been some evidence that if talc gets up your downtown area, it can cause problems in there. So I've always, for decades and decades, will only use cornstarch base powder downtown, but I don't mind talc everywhere else. Now, I think the biggest product collection it's going to be about hands because, of course, Denise and I are big hand washers anyway, but now in COVID times, we are mad washing our hands and therefore also mad 
lotioning our hands. So a lot of these are actually shower gels, but they're shower gels that I converted to soap. I have a, a pump that fits all these bottles. And um, yeah, I've used them all as, as hand wash. So the first one is the coconut... Sh <clears throat> <clears throat> the first one is the coconut shower cream. Uh, this is a lovely, it's like a white milk and it's it's thick and it's moisturizing. It doesn't dry your hands out so much. Uh, it's beautiful as a shower gel, but I also really loved it as a hand cream. Sorry, I didn't mean hand cream, I meant hand wash. This is, uh, this is actually a hand wash. This is the strawberry hand wash from the body shop. And this is what the, oh, sorry, I got a piece of hair there. This is what the uh, pump came in. And then I just took the pump out of it and I would take the lid off of the other bottles and switch the pump around so I have such a huge amount of shower gel it's a way for us to use that up without having to buy new hand wash lovely strawberry scent oh this was the limited summer scent at uh, the body shop there was two of them there was cucumber something which I love cooling cucumber and this one is zesty lemon and um, this one oh, it smells like sometimes I don't like lemon scents because they remind me of like pine saw or cleaning products but this was a beautiful lemon scent and I love the, the label too. And I used it as a hand wash in my bathroom. This is a big giant size body shop shower gel. The, it's the mango shower gel, which is a scent I love in summer. And we use this in our kitchen as a hand wash. Then we have two actual hand washes from the body shop. This one is pink grapefruit. It smells just like pink grapefruit and it is fabulous. And this one again from that spa of the world. Tahitian Tiare hand wash. What a smell. Another hand wash. This one is by Meyer. It is the uh, limited edition scent and the scent is peony. I got this. I put one of these in Denise's advent calendar last Christmas and she loved it. So this is her second tub of this. This is the utterly smooth foot cream and I get this on Amazon it's really well priced and a tub lasts her a long time and it uh, keeps your feet nice and smooth. These are uh, body lotions but we use them as hand cream in this house. They are both from Bath and Body Works. This one's called At the Beach which was great for summer and this one was left over from last fall. It was Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Now the first Sol de Janeiro product I am going to tell you do not buy it. This is the Sol de Janeiro Samba Foot Fetish Cream. You're going to see one more in my empties because I bought one when it came out and Jessica sent me one. Um, and I used it when I was using all these products in July, August. And it says like fast absorbing non-slip. Yes, that is true. It absorbs fast and it's non-slip because it does not moisturize your feet. Like I would put this on and... So generally how I moisturize my feet is after my shower, right? So once a day, every day after my shower. And it's fine. For 24 hours, my feet feel moisturized. I don't feel the need to like reapply it before bedtime or anything like that. This goes on my feet and about an hour and a half, two hours later, I'm like, oh, did I forget to moisturize my feet today? Oh no, I did. But suddenly they feel dead dry again. So I just... You know, it's one thing to go non-slip, but it has to moisturize. Otherwise, why are you paying a crazy price for your foot cream? So, will not buy it again. I'll use the one I have uh, and would not recommend that you buy it either. And what's really weird is the foot cream was so bad, but the hand cream is fabulous. The hand cream is called Brazilian Touch Hand Cream. And it comes in this Boom Boom scent and also the scent that smells like popcorn, the one in the turquoise tube. And it's really rich, really emollient, works like a charm, loved it. But the foot cream, big fail. This is a great foot cream. I also got it on Amazon, but you could get it at any drugstore. It's the Curel Foot Therapy. It's affordable and it is, uh, there's no big fancy scent or anything. And it's not cooling or anything like that, but it's a good, good source of moisture for your feet. This is a fabulous hand cream by Aesop. I need to like, I love Aesop products, but like you're ordering from so far away and um, I just wish there was um, a place close to me here in Toronto where they sell this. That's my hint. Last time I said that, I think it was about the P60 lotion. Y'all found me like 52 places around where I live. So I'm in Midtown Toronto. If anybody's got a lead, I would love to be able to just buy Aesop without ordering it online. 
but this was the resurrection hand bomb and it is fantastic and i took my tube bringer to it so there's not a drop left in there and it's not summer until you see the body shop mango which you've seen many times this is the mango hand cream loved it but i'm noticing the prices have gone up for this tiny little tube they're charging 10 bucks now which i think for a body shop hand cream is, is a bit much but anyway there's another one that i always get in the summer the coconut and i feel like i've gotten these before for like three of them for ten dollars so i was kind of shocked that it was ten bucks each i'm getting rid of this buffer this is one of those two-sided nail buffers where one side has a bit of a grit and the other side polishes and it just makes your nails nice and shiny when you're not wearing polish and i bought these in probably like a pack of 10 or 20 on amazon so whenever one gets scuffed up and like the grit kind of disappears i get rid of it and bring out a new one this is a body scrub but i use it as a hand scrub it's from fresh sugar uh it oh no i lie to you i lie it looks just like the fresh sugar one but this is trader joe's brown sugar scrub so this was again a gift sent to us because we don't have trader joe in canada i so wish i so wish we got whole food which yeah whatever i but i was like okay if whole food's coming surely trader joe is gonna come uh, and still not yet and I just I live for the day I would love to uh, be able to walk the aisles we have uh, a viewer I don't know if she still watches but she's a lawyer from the New York area and oh my goodness I think we were still living on Gladstone when she went to Trader Joe's and I feel like she bought us something from like every aisle in the store and we enjoyed it everything from like the tea to the lotion to whatever I just I wish we had a Trader Joe's. All that to say, I wish we had a Trader Joe's. You've seen this many times, you'll see it many more. This is the Body Shop, what is the official name for it? The Almond Nail and Cuticle Oil. I love it, it's one of these things where you crank on one side, it's got a brush on the other. Unlike regular nail oil, it's not drippy, it's like a gel oil kind of. So it stays in place, you can rub it in, and then there's this really great rubber pusher which is fabulous for just keeping your cuticles at bay like in between manicures because it's rubber it doesn't hurt you're watching tv you're watching a movie just keep those cuticles at bay and it's like i can't remember how much it is but they aren't expensive i buy them in bulk and like i really love the one from oliver and june oliver no oh sorry olive and june but the olive and june one is like 38 us dollars and i, I feel there's less in it than in this and these are less than ten dollars so you do the math this is the hand and nail treatment from clarence a sample but again a fabulous sample not very often you see me come to the end of a nail polish but i kind of cheated because this is a small one it's a mini but last winter i wore this non-stop and i finished it it's x formula by sephora that was such good nail polish why did they ever do away with it like they had their regular Sephora nail polish which was fine but then they went to this X formula and it was fabulous I loved everything in the whole line they had it for I think maybe two years and then they let it go anyway this one is in the uh, color ignite which is just a really beautiful for this time of the year like deep blood red not as dark as vamp or rouge noir if you're in France or Canada but um, a little darker than like a big apple red really nice and the final hand product is probably my favorite hand cream this is the Burt's Bees almond and milk uh, hand cream it comes in a glass that piece of hair just wants to jump comes in a glass jar the the full-size jars are about this big it smells like almonds it's so moisturizing it is my favorite hand cream Denise has been doing a lot of writing so have I but I've been writing with my fountain pens where Denise is trying to make room in our apartment by using up some of the 10,000 pens that I have in stock. Uh, this is a favorite of mine. This is the Pilot G2. One is in a 0.5 tip and one is in a 0.7 tip, both with black ink. I think everybody who journals like absolutely loves these pens. We get them on Amazon. And that is the, again, Pilot G2 in the 07 tip, but with blue ink. This is a big time favorite of mine. If you like really fine writing, if you have small spaces to get into, this is the Juice pilot juice in the 3.8 tip it's just a really super fine tip and then these are the uh, Pentel Energel pens with the needle tips uh, both of them with black ink 
again really nice fine writer I'm going to go into all the paper things so we've got a well kept you know I love those travel wet ones which I'm not traveling but we're using them around the house another well kept in case you're new to the empties these well kept wipes uh, I use there's a high alcohol content in them I always use them because they clean without streaking but right now they're super important because of what's happening in the world but I clean my eyeglasses both of our phones both of our computers uh, with these wipes and they're great they don't leave a lit they don't leave any lint they take off your fingerprints there's no need to dry they just because of the alcohol content it just kind of evaporates so they're great little things to have I used a Sephora sleeping mask for hair this is the smoothing and anti-frizz one these are cool they come with their own little disposable shower cap that is not plastic it's like a paper but it protects your pillow and you sleep with it overnight wash you wash it out in the morning you have nice smooth hair there's another well kept this one in the pretty flower motif uh, what else have I got here a lavender foot mask from Sephora Denise and I both love these I used a bazillion in cocos some people I saw were not painting their nails during lockdown for me uh, I really do my nails for me so I was still seeing me so I kept my nails done all through the lockdown so I used a lot of in cocos in that time and these I cannot wait to tell you about so you notice my nails today have a high glitter content right any of you who wear glitter nail polish you know what it's like it takes you an hour to get it off you go through 57 nail wipes to take it off um, there's glitter bits everywhere it is, your fingers are sore by the end of it so I saw these on the nail polish Canada site which is a Canadian site that I get a lot of my nail polish products it is the OPI expert touch removal wraps and this was a sample sort of a sampling there was only 20 wraps so it would do two you could remove your polish twice they were magical so magical that this just came in today i ordered 200 of them these are is it two yeah 250 of them come on this roll and i'm going to take one out just to show you what it is because i'm going to remove this polish later today anyway so it's just a piece of foil that has that tape shouldn't be there it's a piece of foil that has a little remover pad in it and I use the uh, the Zoya remover so it's got that little ksh. so I'll put the pad on it go ksh. I get one pump and then you just like wrap it around your finger and you let that sit for I let mine sit for like two minutes two and a half minutes and then I, I like undo the foil and just kind of rub a little bit and when I pull it out all the polish is gone and I'm not using some heavy crazy pure acetone remover or anything like that I am simply using the Zoya remover I always use but because the saturated pad sits on the finger it just eats it all off and it's it's like magical it changed my glitter nail polish game so I was just more than excited to see they carried it in the big roll so uh, I'm sure you can get the I got it on nail polish can I'm sure you can get it wherever you get it they're just called expert touch removal wraps highly recommend and the last category is what I would call kind of miscellaneous so I went through one wet ones I'm not going through these as fast because I'm not doing my makeup as much or I wasn't during lockdown but honest to God for five months I sat around and watched my gray roots grow in and now all of a sudden I've got work coming out my ears all of it done from right here in this chair uh, but so I'm doing my makeup more so you'll probably see more of these now although when I run out I don't know none of these are available anymore oh I just wanted to show you this this is the CBD oil that I use it is called Mona Lisa healing um, it is just pure CBD there's no THC in it so you don't get high from it it's an organic hemp product uh, this is the 1500 milligram uh, strength and um, my friend Biff Naked owns part of this company and I believe they ship all over the world so I take uh, two pipettes of this every morning just to keep you know kind of keep my pain at bay somewhat there you go you've seen these before these are those little plastic hair ties and I just opened a couple of packages that I had here this is a big fat fail this is the Bosha 
charcoal deodorant. If you could feel this, it is full. It is a, a natural talc-free powder spray. So I'm going to show you. I've got the fan going, which is probably what you can hear, but I'll try to spray into my garbage bag. So you see it just puffs the It puffs the powder out. It aggravated my armpits. Like I was walking around the house like this for like days. It it gave me such a rash. It, it aggravated me so bad. So I gave it to Denise because her skin's not as sensitive as mine. She did not like it. Didn't work. It didn't work. Didn't do anything for her. So wah, wah, wah. Big ass fail, Bosha. This is a shower or a shave gel that I was using as well as Denise. It's the Skintimate Skin Therapy Dry Skin version. I won't be using this anymore. I have solved my hair problems. So, let's talk. Back in the 80s, epilators came out for the first time. And in fact, the brand name of the epilator that was available to everybody was called Epilady. And Epilady was this device that had these really tight metal coils on it and the coils would basically pinch your hair and pull them out. And if you were a kid and you played with a slinky and you put your slinky on your wrist and it caught your hair, remember how painful that was? That's what the epilady felt like. Then about a year ago, I can't even remember whose video I was watching. I was watching somebody's video and they were going on and on and on about an epilator. So I went on Amazon and I bought myself a Philips epilator and I put it in my vanity drawer and I left it there. I never ever used it. And then I was just watching somebody recently, somebody I just discovered on YouTube that I'm totally enjoying and she uses an epilady, so I, or an epilator. So I thought I'm gonna get that out. Oh my goodness, they don't even hurt anymore. It's a totally new technology. And like, I, I was just like watching YouTube. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Did my arms, my legs, like no mess, no, no fuss no water and it's, it is the technology is so developed now that they say that if your hair is just the length of a grain of sand it can catch it and take it out so i have beautiful smooth arms and smooth legs and uh, no more razors which means no more plastic stuff in the landfill i'm epilating if you want to see the epilator let me know down below and I'll maybe i'll do a little demonstration video and i believe yes this is the final product this is the underarm deodorant I used all summer. I try to use natural in the winter when it's not so hot, but in the summer, mama needs full on antiperspirant. And this is the Dove dry spray in the cool cucumber scent. It was great. I thought I would try the spray again because they hadn't been available for a long time. I'll go back to my stick. Uh, I find it just goes everywhere and you know, it's okay, but it's just not my favorite. The stick is my favorite. That's it. That brings us to the end of this empties. I haven't been reading as much in lockdown, but I am going to do a reading wrap up here in the next week or two. So that'll be the next video to keep your eyes open for. And make sure you subscribe and that you hit the little notification bell so that you don't miss vloggy No, vlogtober starting in on October 1st. Thanks for watching. See ya. Stay safe. Wear a mask.